Um, the first one, it's about the GIS, GIS the yeah. Ghana International yeah. School Land. And you are saying they bought the land in 1987. Yeah, from there. And how many years ago is that? Um, almost, almost 40, about 37 years. Okay. I am sure that when you buy state property, mm -hmm. there are terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm surprised that they bought the land next to the school 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's still empty land. They don't even have a wall. Haven't developed it. They even have. They don't even have a wall mm -hmm. around it. Because there are always terms and conditions yeah. as to yeah. what to do with the land. We're we using need, it as a car park. We need to. We need to know if they have fulfilled the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. Number two. Um, the business about the office of the president involved in the because of the police officer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because the office of the president was mentioned, mm -hmm. and that's why the presidency obviously put up the statement yeah. that the office of the president knows nothing about that land and is whoever. Um, but I take your point mm -hmm. that if a gentleman at the office of the president has been mentioned mm -hmm. in the matter, those then become subject to the police investigations. Yeah. So I take your point that... Yeah. It might not be necessary to then talk about the integrity of that because nobody's integrity yeah. Yeah. because even if the yeah. police officer yeah. has bought the land yeah. you just have to find out from the land commission why or if they have sold the land and why they have mm -hmm. because to have public land sitting in that place for 30 years mm -hmm. <laughs> i can tell you there'll be an issue mm -hmm. even when you buy land in these gated communities. There are terms and conditions as to when you should build and so on. But we don't know those matters yet. So the office of the president, uh, they've done the right thing by asking for full police investigation into the matter. So um, they will get into... But they shouldn't have cleared the officer. But I've said to you that that part of the statement where the officer is... Um, they're talking about its integrity. Because all those things will be subject yeah. now to police investigation. Um, so we'll leave it at that. But it's, I'm happy that the Office of the President has come out to clarify and also to invite the police to investigate this um, issue about the land. The land. And obviously they're going to talk to land, land Commission and all of that to get to the bottom of the matter. Now, the other ones that he talked about, the governor, the, that's the yeah, Lawales. La 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 the 13, the famous 13. You see, Annie, in this country, since 1999, we have had an official policy which is called the Accra Redevelopment Plan. Plan. We don't have time, but... Yeah, so right. Anna, this was in part of it. This is not redevelopment. This is not part of the Accra development policy. This oh, one was, yeah, this I thought it's Accra land. Yeah, but no, but this is different. This Why? one was bought in 1947. Which one? Uh, Which one? From the La people, the Which La Wireless. One? The La Wireless. Yeah. And then in 2006, mm -hmm. President Kufour used portions for the Asian yeah, yeah, village yeah, buildings yeah. to host yeah. visiting heads of state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then in uh, 2018, mm -hmm. President. <laughs> Akufuado said he's returning the lands to the original, the rest of it. Okay. But in the process, they reserved 12.5 acres, yeah. which they are now selling amongst political exposed persons. Ah, so, but, okay. so that one is the difference, not part of the Accra redevelopment policy. Why there were it? no bungalows there and all of that. But it's state land. Yes, but which, it, which were returned to the original owners. No, no, no. The, the 12 acres that you are talking about, it's state land. Is, yeah, but and, the Accra and, development policy is different. That one relates to where there are bungalows and on an oh. acre and you want so, to... So you mean if it's state land and there's no bungalow, then it doesn't no, fall under... No, Accra redevelopment policy doesn't apply to that. Listen. This one was a okay. return Let state land and they kept portions <laughs> which they are sharing amongst themselves. So once they, kept, cheap. once they kept it, it's state lands. Yeah, they are state lands. So it yeah. falls under the redevelopment plan. The redevelopment plan was in 19... No, it doesn't... 1999. Yeah. And this uh, sale that we are talking mm -hmm. about is a couple of years ago. Yes, this is. So it falls under the Accra Redevelopment Plan. To say that because there was no building in it, so it's not state no. land. There, who, who owns it? Okay. So it, the Accra Redevelopment Plan said that you have all kinds of 
acres of state land in some old bungalow sitting on it. And that's not the way to go because uh, of, the, of the changes in Accra development and so on. So since 1999, you've had this policy where many of these lands have been given to all kinds of people for redevelopment. That is why you see the high-rise buildings at Roman Ridge, Cantonments, all these housing estates, because it was thought that to have some three-bedroom bungalow sitting on two acres today, those days they were jungle, 80 years ago, but today is the middle of the city. So you give it to a, a somebody, they would then do um, high rise that can contain maybe a hundred people or two hundred people, um, and that is what is done everywhere in the world. In the city, that's what is done. Now, as part of it, like I said, it's been sold to private individuals, it's been sold to politicians, it's been sold to all kinds of people, both NPP, NDC, and all kinds of private people. My my point of interest is that these lands should be properly valued. Yeah. When it's properly valued, then the state has gained from the That's sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and also advertise. If it's not well properly due valued, process. due process, <laughs> due process, due process, yeah. process yeah. But even if you don't advertise it, but that you sell it at a proper value, because somebody could say that uh, Samuel Kujato, because of your work that you've done as so so and so so and so so and so so there's this land there at seven hundred thousand if you like it you can have it is the valuation that worries me mm, yeah. but you see this matter of valuation let's trace the valuation from 1990 1999 to see the values that the land commission has put on these land sales. So we can have a comprehensive picture and then know what to do. But the land ministry that's delaying this process, because they're supposed to provide the documents as requested, at least by the minority. Uh, Black has done the same on the ground. Well, if they are delaying... They release the, the documents, yeah. so we do all this. Yeah. But is the land... Well, the whether, land. whether it's the land commission, or, but it's important for this country that we look at the sales that have been done from Accra Redevelopment see the values. Mm. Yeah. But I don't think the values are determined by the minister mm -hmm. or the president. Even though the sale is done in the name of the president. I don't think the president is the one who values it. It's the land commission. We need to find out how do they come by those values. Because even those of us who are <laughs> laymen, you would know that the land in cantonments should cause a certain... Because you can look at their journey land, what yeah. they are going for. For me, that is the key. If you are going to talk about the sale, it's been sold to NPP people, it's been sold to NDC people. This, and, and if you don't provide the entire list, then if you are not careful, you've partisan your debate. And then people will then become defensive. So let's have the list of sale from 1999. Which people? How much did they buy? Clearly, what should be the true valuation? Mm -hmm. and we know Can we have them make up for what they should, they should have paid? Then we're having a national conversation.